And we got this little stray. It was still a little kitten. Look, this small. And we love it very much. And now, what are we gonna do, Lana? What is up? My name is Marta. This is Ilona. Welcome Hello. to the vlog. Welcome to Volus. Welcome to Volus Vibes. Welcome to our life. Welcome to. I'm still pregnant. Still pregnant, Ilona. Yeah, nothing changed much. Uh, we're getting. We're going by car, by the way. I have to show you. We were supposed to be walking, but we're a little bit on the late side also. So we took the car, and uh, also because today is going to rain probably. And when I say probably, I mean pretty sure it is so cloudy usually you can see the mountain in the back there but now you don't see anything so we're pretty sure it's going to rain and it's okay if it's going to rain but i don't not like rain not not, not if we're walking and i don't want to have our baby when it's on a rainy day it should be a sunny day i just want him out you just want him out. <laughs> let's go to the gynecologist once again didn't find the spa parking yeah. spot so i have to drop Elon off for a second see you in a sec bye, bye. Yes, look and you will find. And I found a spot. Not the cleanest parking job, but who cares? <laughs> Let's not forget the... Almost hit another car. Let's not hit, forget the umbrella today because I am sure it's going to rain. Even though I don't mind a little bit of a raindrop, it's okay. But Ilona is wearing some short sleeve thing, just like I am as well. And she's got that belly as well. If she gets sick, it'd be very bad for her. And the baby of course so umbrella for now because the sky is slowly turning from this nice and blue to dark and gray and thunder and war that's coming well, it's literally like a dark brown here what i see mud streams drowned horses if you didn't see that drowned horse video almost once check the link up uh, here it was uh, on my birthday how are you doing laying, laying. how's he doing not much we'll see outside <laughs> so what is the news today the baby is very nice in there the baby's very nice in there yes we don't need to stimulate birth so far because yet. maybe it's too early yet because maybe we miscalculated it a little bit because i have a very big cycle so periodical cycle for the guys who knows that like it's that menstrual. moment in menstrual cycle yeah so uh we're gonna give some extra time and we'll see i'm very happy He's not coming yet. Probably we're actually gonna have a live stream as well on Sunday again with the two of us. Yeah. Or three with him in well, the belly at least. Two and but a half. We're gonna see. Anyway, uh, what are we gonna do now? Go bread. home. I'm hungry. Bread and, and flowers. Bread, flowers, and I'm hungry. And I promised to Blazings and another a couple of other people to say exactly how I make some things. So I'm doing a little cook show today. <laughs> because we're having tomato soup. Back home. My hands are pretty much clean. My nails are not because I've been digging in the dirt because we just stopped also for four little plants. Succulents, you would almost name them. That's how small they are. But look, Ilona is now fixing them. So they stand nicely in a little jar, mm. right? And then we have finally something because we had dried flowers in these ones. I think this is a little bit better, right? There is a new life coming in the house. So we have to have a life thing. Yes. So we have some uh, moss and some other little plants, which are okay they should it's live it's not exactly what i wanted to but it's good it's enough. never exactly what you wanted no. to you perfectionist yeah. <laughs> by the way uh, i said this morning it was going to rain the sky was, uh, sky still looks like it's going to storm or something but nothing yet the, the clouds actually have uh, this wavy form like you can see always when there's a heavy storm coming up but nothing is going to happen right now i'm fine with that as well i mean it's it's all okay we're expecting also, we were expecting Ilona's mom today, but we changed that plan as well because the baby's not coming, so it's not necessary okay. yet. So, yep. I like it. I also like it. I like the plant. Little life in the house instead of dried out flowers. Mm -hmm. Turek is more focused on the piece of rope that Ilona is holding right now because he was playing with it a second ago. I took it. I'll give, it, I'll give him a little more. Turek. Gord's cat. Uh, 
And there it's got a place with the cards, of course. Nicely there. Okay, sorry, no tomato soup. Ilona's making a celery salad. And that's because we were expecting actually to have Ilona's grandma, grandma. To have grandma, grandma come over. To have grandma come over, but Ilona's mom. And I wanted to make for her the tomato soup. So we're gonna do that another time and make a more dedicated video on like stuff that we cook sometimes. Now this is a recipe from my mom, from yes, the other and grandma. Love it. And Ilona loves it. It is mayonnaise with yogurt in the bottom that you see with a little bit of pepper and salt. And then you just cut up all the celery. George Ratzinotas loves this by the way, our friend. I know. He hates it. I know. He yeah. loved he, he, he hated the taste of the celery somehow. <laughs> So you cut them all in little and George, pieces in there. George is a very easy person. He eats everything you give him and he likes everything. Usually he does, yeah. Yeah, so but this... This is a salad, like a meal salad, or at least we eat it as a meal salad. I remember when I first came to Holland and your mom made this salad. At first I was like, ugh, it's horrible. And then the next time that she made it again, I was like, it's actually very nice. It I is really nice. loved it's, it. There's a weird combination because it's like the, all these the salad stuff, the, the celery. What I want to say is also that there goes in an apple, or a sour apple or yes. two, green ones in this case. Yes. And we've got a big slice of uh, Gouda cheese. So and this actually, whenever you buy Gouda cheese, make sure that you buy a piece that is from a round cheese. Because officially, cheese does not ripen correctly when you buy it in a square. Those square things are not really cheese. This here is cheese, like the one that you get in from a circle and they cut off a piece for you. That's real cheese. The other ones are dried out, have uh, all kinds of stuff in them to keep it well for a long time. I've added the salt crystals, for example, to make it look older. All that weird stuff. This is a normal ripened cheese. At least this is the one that we get from my market, Adoro. 5.88 the kilo. It is a half young. It's not that young. We say in Dutch, we say belege. So it's a medium aged cheese. It's nice. It is nice. It is nice. Is it me or is it dark in this house? It's a little better, yeah. Uh, I don't like that lamp. Kaliorixi, look, it is a big ass bowl and it's enough food for the two of us, definitely. Yeah, I made a bit more than I should do. <sighs> See little pieces of uh, apple in there, little pieces of cheese in there. So you've got a little bit of a sweetness, a little bit of a sourness, a little bit of the celery. Perfect. Perfect. A little bit of the salt from the mayonnaise. Yogurt salt. I'm very hungry. We're gonna see what we're gonna do the rest of the day. I have no idea what we're gonna do the rest of the day because the I house is clean now. Huh? Yeah, and I need to edit and of course the basic things, but... Uh. By the way, today is World Animal Day. Hmm? Dude? I was talking to the vlog and our cat was asleep sweet a second ago to bring us a leaf from outside in. And a second ago he was also playing with it. You want it? You want it? You want it? You want it? He's three years old. He's over three years old. He's still so playful. Three and a half. In April he will be four. We always say that Durak is born on the first of April. Huh? He's so fast also, I'm so amazed. But I was just sitting in my chair and out of nowhere, he comes walking in with this leaf from outside probably because we have the balcony doors open. It's not the best thing for you to eat, but you can play with it, yes. Here, let's light up the scene a little bit. Whoa. I don't think it's healthy for you to eat. I don't think it's healthy for you to eat. Yeah. For the ones who didn't know yet, we got Durak from Filozoiki, which is like an org uh, animal organization. They, they take stray animals. He knocked it off the couch. And we got this little stray. He was still a little kitten. Look, this small. And we love him very much. And now, what are we going to do, Ilona? We're going to watch a movie. We're going to watch Hotel Transylvania 3. I need to be home with my family. You're the one in denial. <laughs> oh, really turned out not the way that I wanted to because uh, oh, I nearly dick slapped myself. I was about to order some crepes on eFood Teliajar. It's like a, an application or a website that you can order food at. And then I wanted to pay, but uh, because Ilona didn't have enough on their card, I said like, you know what, we'll pay by PayPal. And I forgot my password. So I did three times the wrong password. And then at the fourth time I remembered it, but seemingly then you get locked out if you do it too many times wrong from PayPal. And I checked how long it takes, two hours. So. I was so much in the mood for crepes, like these nice crepes with some bueno paste on top and some biscotto, some bananas, some, oh, so tasty. For, to watch with the movie, of course, but uh, no, 
didn't turn out that way. So that means that uh, we just had a very nice movie. Movie was okay. Movie was okay. Tra Transylvania. What's it called? Hotel Transylvania. Hotel Transylvania Three. So, but it's, I don't know. The first one, like Long said, was the best. If you like this vlog, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below because we love to read them. We always reply. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.